Hey, welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about number formatting. Alright, so this is actually some Kickstarter campaign information. And so we're going to pull over um, deadline year, if I can find that. Pull that up there for columns. And we're going to pull in US dollars or gold real. That'll give us some big enough numbers. And we're going to change this to a bar. And uh, so we've already gone through and changed the default properties. So let's go here to default number property. So this is going to change it across all the different spreadsheets. And it's in billions. We're going to just show it as zeros. And uh, so there we go. There's billions. Come over here. This shows in billions. Now, what we want to do is we want to put this US gold reel on the labels. We want the labels on top here. All right, well, we actually want a little bit more. Um, we want decimals. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Format. Come over here and look at the pane. Okay, under the default, under the pane, we're going to come under Currency. We're going to add just one decimal and make this in billions. Okay, so look, we have one million here, three billion here. Okay, I want to show you another another thing that we're going to do. I'm going to make it even illustrate this point a little better. We're going to pull up the U.S. dollars real again, which is going to give us two charts. This time on the second chart. We're going to add the different state or different types of loans in Kickstarter or whatever they're called. Oops, sorry. That belongs there into color. And we're going to sync these. Well, before we do that, look under here. This is the key. 500 billion or half a billion, 1 billion, 2 billion. You know, I'd really like to see these in millions. Okay, so what you need to do is, is we, as we've done before, you can't just come here and format. I'm going to show you. Under million, we can't just change this to billion, the millions, sorry, because everything is going to be changed to millions. Right? Let me go back, change this to billions. And we're going to get this off the labels. We're not going to use that for the labels. You can see the tooltips. I want the tooltips to have be in millions. Here's the trick. Come down under here, goals real. I'm going to make a duplicate. Okay. What I usually like to do is edit it and maybe put what it's going to be in. I'm going to put millions. And we're going to change this default property number format. And we're going to change that to millions. Now, where do we want it to show up? We want it to show up under the tooltips. So we're going to drag it over under the tooltips. And now, when you show it up, you'll see that the value is in millions and in billions. And so, you know. To make it easier, we'll just get rid of the value for the million, the billions, the default value. And then we just merge these two together. And then we have to sync them up. You can see that's a little bit overlay. It's because they aren't sunk, synced, synced up, sunk up. And there you go. And then of course you just hide this. You'll see that this is and so now you've got one format here for the axis, another format for what you see in the pane, and then a separate format for what you see on the, the tooltip. Now I want to show you one thing more thing real quick. You know we had a default property. Let's pull this value over. We're going to do, let's see, what do we have? We had deadline. We had, we'll just, we don't need state. We're just going to change this to bar because I would I want to show something here. Yeah. 
and then we had year was up there. All right, so this is the default. Now let's, if we can go back here and change the default properties for all the charts, if we want to change it just for this chart, for whatever reason, come under here, Format, and you'll see that it's Format for this field. And you can come over here, and you can change the field. We'll just leave it as two decimals. And we'll let's change it in thousands for just this chart. Okay, that was the default. Right, so there you can see what the real value is. If you want to change the axis, got to do the same thing. Come here, you can do, um, let's do thousands, no, no thing, no decimals. All right, so you see used dollars, USD, gold, real, in thousands. It's still in billions here. This is using the default number format. This one is using just uh, the formatting assigned to this page here. So there you go. That's how you can assign three, at least three different number formats to one chart using the format tool on the sheet and creating the a duplicate record that has the right um, unit of measure assigned to it. As always, leave a comment, subscribe, Love to hear from you. Until next time, have a good one. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and the little bell to be notified when new videos are released.